Hello, my name is Kathy Lau and my science fair project is on how habitat light exposure and temperature affect asexual reproduction in brown planaria. <clears throat> planaria are a type of non-parasitic flatworm that lives in spring water. I was interested in them because they are able to reproduce two ways, uh, sexually and asexually. They can reproduce sexually because they have both male and female reproductive organs and they rep reproduce asexually by regeneration. When they are missing a body part or uh, a part of their body is damaged, then the regeneration process is triggered and they re will regrow the missing body part or the damaged part of their body. I chose brown planaria specifically because they were what was available during winter. <clears throat> the purpose of my project was to learn more about how planaria regenerate and which habitats they would regenerate the quickest in. To someday maybe apply what I've learned to regeneration in humans. My hypothesis that was that they would regenerate the quickest in the habitat with zero light exposure. The procedure I followed for this experiment was that I obtained 120 brown planaria and I uh, put each of them into their own petri dish filled with five milliliters of spring water because any other type of water could have degenerated them and skewed the data. Then I divided them into four different environments. One was with light exposure 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The next one was no light exposure whatsoever. The third one was with temperatures below 21 degrees Celsius. And the last habitat was with temperatures ranging from around 21 degrees to 23 degrees Celsius. And I also put them in, and I also divided some of them into a control group, which was with 12 hours of sunlight a day and with temperatures around 22 degrees Celsius. Then I bisected them vertically and um, when they were injured you could see that the part that was injured became clear which was interesting to me. Um, they were fed egg yolk and their water was changed once a week and every three days I recorded the planaria's length and width of both halves of the original planaria. Um, you, whenever they ate you could also see the food in their body. I have two images of the brown planaria. The first one is of the my first subject in the exposed 24 hours a day, 7 days a week habitat. And the second image is of when I bisected the planarian. It looks it looks odd because one side is wider than the other because because planaria tend to do that when they are messed with as a kind of self-defense.
by the end of the two weeks, which was the amount of time it normally took for planaria to regenerate in their normal habitat, very few planaria actually regenerated and most of them actually died. The best habitat for them to regenerate in was the habitat with light exposure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The second best was the habitat with no light exposure whatsoever. The third best habitat was the habitat with temperatures from 21 degrees Celsius to 23 degrees Celsius and the last best temperature, um, the last best habitat was below 21 degrees Celsius. The graphs are of each first subject of each planaria group, so it might not represent the results exactly because this is just one of the planarian. In the control subject one, you can see that the width is gradually getting wider as it begins to regenerate and in the exposed likes exposed to light 24 7 you can see that the width begins to widen but then it decreases and so does the length in the temperatures from 21 to 23 degrees celsius the length said it stays the same but the width decreases and eventually by the ninth day it, uh, it has died. Um, in the one with no light exposure whatsoever, the length stays the same, but the width increased in size and in the temperature with that is below 21 degrees Celsius the length stays the same. <clears throat> the cause of so many deaths was a human error. I did not consider how fast the water would dry and evaporate when I planned out the experiment. If I were to do this project again, I would put lids on the petri dishes so that the water wouldn't dry out and less planaria would have died. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.